Hi right, guys, um, hope you all had a, uh, a very good Christmas. So we're at the West Boulevard project. This is now week one uh, of the project. We've, um, I think we've got about five projects on the go. Um, that's confirmed, potentially eight. Uh, so this is gonna be a, a very busy, I think, three to six months for us. Um, largely due to Article 4 coming in in, um, uh, in June. Um, so we're rushing to get everything organized, uh, putting everything in place so that um, all the projects can be completed uh, by June uh, in time for Article 4. Um, so at this stage, the, 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 the main challenge is to um, line everything up uh, just so that we're, all, we're as organized as possible uh, and to avoid any potential issues uh, further down the line. We expect to be like super busy in about a month, turn for March, probably April, I think. Um, that's when it will probably get a bit stressful. All right, so um, as I said, this is uh, week one of our West Boulevard project. Um, let me turn the, uh, well, give the camera to Ashley it's and then I'm just gonna walk through it. Yep. Is that the recording? Okay, so um, that couch is still here. Um, what we're going to do is I was just going to... Yeah. Just, just going to get rid of it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay. just skip it. Um, the tree was also an issue. Did we speak to yes. the council? So counsel? with regards to the tree, we've spoken to the council. Um, we, we are just sort of waiting to hear back from them. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So we just wanted to hear back from the council um, because ultimately the property next door is a council-owned property. What we've said is, is due to insurance purposes, subsist subsistence, etc., etc., it might be a good idea to, to get rid of the tree. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting to hear back from the council. So that's something we're going to chase. That's something we have to do. Right. Back to yeah. do it. Um, okay. The skip is there. So what we're doing, what we've decided to do. Actually, we'll walk in with it. Yeah. So, we're still waiting for plans to go through for the, uh, the sixth bed, um, mostly because we're digging down. Um, due to the, sort of the, uh, the time restraints, uh, we're going to plan ahead. Um, upstairs, it's going to be two on suites regardless of, uh, of what we do. So what we decided to do is start the work upstairs to start gutting uh, the place out and getting, doing as much work as we can uh, while we're waiting uh, for that creation to be, uh, so for plan to be approved. Now, upstairs, sh the, the layout, uh, everything shouldn't change. It should always be two en suites, regardless of whether we have uh, six beds in total or five beds. So the, the plan being that we do the two en suites upstairs uh, and start cutting the place out. Uh, that should take probably two weeks, I think. Um, if we don't, and then we'll start down here uh, and, and probably start gutting everything out, but doing it in a way whereby uh, if we don't get planning, then we go ahead with uh, five on suites in total. If we do get planning, then we continue and do the six. But it just means we get as much work done as possible. Yep, exactly. So, uh, let's move through. Um, sorry, you guys are just having a, a quick break. Um, yeah, so this is the, the hallway, so there's going to be the bedroom, sorry, one bedroom over there. Yep. And then the second bedroom over here. That's based on the four bed. If we were to do a uh, five bed, which is this is the plan, we'll be extending out in this way. So it'll be four, sorry, three large, uh, large one suites. So we'll be extending it out to here. Yeah. So this is this is really the backup plan, um, being uh, a five en suites um, in this area, and then I think the kitchen will come up to will be extended yeah. all the way to here as well. Now, let's walk back into the kitchen area. So that would all be sectioned off along here. That will be the bedroom, and then the kitchen will be a, a narrow uh, galley kitchen. In this area, uh, interestingly, um, a brand new double bedroom without uh, an ensuite 
doesn't actually go for that much. For example, I think you know you, you'll be lucky to hit 425, uh, 430 uh, if you're lucky, and that's a standard brand new. Well, actually not standard. That's a brand new, uh, nice uh, double bedroom. That's what we're getting in Northfield um, and other parts of Birmingham. Um, and the property prices there are a lot cheaper as well. What I have noticed, so, so what I'm saying is the double, the rooms for, uh, the rates for a double bedroom here isn't that exciting, uh, considering where we are, which is basically our, on the borders of Harborn. Um, what I have noticed is though that there is a, a lot of demand for ensuite rooms. Uh, I think that's probably because there's not a lot of ensuite rooms in this area. Uh, and the rates are actually very high, so about 500, 550. Uh, we're going to aim for the sort of 556, potentially 650 range uh, for the, the really large ensuite, which is what we're aiming for. So we're aiming for large ensuites where we can. Um, and I feel there's actually a lot of demand for those um, through various letting requests from tenants. Um, so that I'm actually quite excited about. So we're definitely going the, the ensuite plan, uh, even though it will cost more. Um, I think there's just a lot more demand behind it to justify uh, the investment. Um, so yeah, this will be the the, uh, the kitchen, um, pretty much standard. We'll, we'll go upstairs. I think that's where a lot of the work has been done. Yeah. Um, so just need to be careful. Okay. So as you can see in the previous video, that used to be the back room. Small, but that was a box room. Uh, sorry, thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. That used to be um, the bathroom. Um, it's a separate hallway there, this is the wall. That was a box room. That was the box room, sorry, yeah, yeah the back room still. <laughs> yeah. Right, that used to be the box room. Um, we've knocked it through, and we're just going to turn this into an ensuite for this room. And this room is going to be massive. That's just a full frame there. This is the second room up here. Um, once we take away this, it should be a lot bigger. Do you remember the, the size of this one? Is it 12? Uh, I think this one was 12 meters squared. 12 meters. Yeah. Plus this back room, which. Are we closing this off or making this the entrance? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna close it off. Just so basically, we're gonna pinch a little bit of space from this bathroom yeah. for the room because we don't need an ensuite this large. Yeah, yeah. So I'm assuming this is gonna be that will be here around about there exactly. And that is, I mean, there's already a shower tray in there. Um, we just need to move the, the toilet over the sink now already. So yeah. I think up here. Let me let me get in right, so we yeah. can have a look. Yeah. yeah. So as you can see, we're pretty much around here and then yeah. save that window exactly uh, and then that means we free up uh, this whole space yeah so i think that's it i mean um i think just yeah i mean at least five projects gonna go uh within the coming weeks yeah so i just expect a lot more videos from uh actually myself um any questions just let me know so we turn it around oh guys hopefully we'll see you next one <laughs> see you.